um, probably the most beloved female anti-hero in the Marvel Universe. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> do you think that there is a chance for her redemption given her history? Um, I mean, yeah, I feel like we're definitely going to explore more and more with Nebula. I mean, so in the first movie, she was this angry, bitter villain, and we sort of understood why, but we didn't really get into the details. In this movie, we dive right into it, and we know exactly why she is the way she is. And I feel like she's definitely going to make some self-discoveries through that. You know, she's having quite a cathartic experience with her sister in this movie. Sure. And I think she's going to get to the point where maybe she could go to the good side. But also, I kind of want to maintain a little bit of the bad. The, the anti-hero, yeah, totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Palm, quick question for you is, why, why do you think it is Mantis warms up to the Guardians so quickly? Because she um, she needed to feel um, to feel looked at and recognized and and loved in a way and never really happened to her. How do you feel about that relationship she has with Drax? Do you do you kind of ship that? Is that yeah, like I think it's really cute. It is super cute. No, it's really cute, and I think James is so good at that because he really created, uh, you know, like a friendship between a man and a woman, and it's not they're not gonna have sex or you know they're sure. not gonna fall in love you know it's much more interesting you know it's just like s staying platonic and you know in cute that's so awesome. I like that it's like you know a bigger you know brother and a sister yeah. you know that's awesome um Karen in infinity infinity uh, gauntlet this comic book storyline mm -hmm. nebula has a huge role in it mm -hmm. um, do you hope that some of that plays out in infinity war I, of course, hope so. That would be amazing. Um, when I was preparing to play Nebula the first time, I read the Infinity Gauntlet, and I loved it because it was like the most ne uh, Nebula-heavy comic. And um, yeah, I mean, that would be amazing if it does follow that storyline, I'm hoping. I don't know yet because it's a very big secret, but um, I'm hoping. Yeah, well, where would you guys like to see your characters go in either Guardians 3 or Infinity War if it was your choice? I would love maybe to, to go on Earth at some point. Yeah. Mm. Say, Ooh, what is this? Yeah, that would go be cool. Go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the same answer for you is that you would like to go to have Chuck E. Cheese? Nebula. Oh, Chuck E. Yes, cheese as definitely. well. No, we've yeah. never been. It's like a running, you know, yeah, we, because we've never been and we're like, we should try, you know. Uh, you we're, guys, not a, we're not American, you to know. To Chuck E. Cheese, you can't go without kids. That's a thing. Really? Yeah, that's a true story. Do you know any kids? Yeah, can you? Yeah. Can you? Can we borrow a kid? Yeah, that would be great. Kids. I would like Nebula to go to Chuck E. Cheese and then take down Thanos. At Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And then hey, have Daddy. a slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> going forward, what do you think Mantis' motivations are going to be without Ego? Ooh, I don't know. Spoilers. She's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. She's a, she has her family now, so she's kind of, you know, she'll see. She, she'll go with the flow. We'll go, so, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Breezy <Great> answer. answer. <laughs> Um, and Karen, which Avenger are you most excited to share the screen with? In I don't know who I'm going to be sharing the screen with, but if I could choose anyone, sure. um, I would go with Iron Man. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they would have an interesting relationship. He's been a popular choice amongst uh, amongst you guys. He's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. Oh, you are? A huge oh, cool. Um, yeah. I know that Peter Capaldi's leaving. Yes! He's, he's great, by the way. Our Scottish injection into the TARDIS is going. I know. Now, who who would you ideally, not maybe exactly who, but would you like to see the next Doctor be somebody of a different nationality or a different gender? Um, both. Both, okay. Let's go with both. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it would definitely, we need some diversity in the TARDIS. That would be great. And also, um, a female could absolutely play the Doctor. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, some people question it, and I'm like, you're crazy. Of course a female can play that role. There's so many actresses that could do that, and I would love to see that.